Hello class and welcome to MSC 402 Project Management. My name is Dale Deardorff and I'm going to be functioning in a multitude of roles for you in this course. I am going to be your facilitator, your coach, and your instructor and at the same time I will interact with you as a representative from a PMO, a project management office. So what we want to do is I want to just give you a good grounded quick overview of all the components that you're going to find in the course. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a peek at what we've got lined up for you so that you can see all the different elements. So I'll start working from the, the top and walk my way to the bottom. So there are six modules in this course. So you're gonna find that I've got everything laid out for you. Each module is one week long and you'll see that I've got different recorded lectures for you. These are already pre-recorded and they're based on a Pracademic project management perspective, which means that I've broken the project management role down into six different phases from introduction all the way to closing. And you're gonna function each week in that role, in that model, and all the elements associated with a project introduction and initiation, planning the project, executing the project, monitoring and controlling, and then closing the project are going to be phases that you will go through and there will be assignments associated with that. Then, on a weekly basis, you will also have live Zoom lectures. Now, during those lectures, we will walk you through different components that we've got lined up, the elements, the necessary pieces to those phases that we talked about in addition to uh, putting you into groups. In those groups uh, you're going to interact with each other and these would be different groups than the teams that you're associated with and you're going to have different discussions, you're going to do polls and we're going to have you walk through different exercises. In, in addition to that, as we move further across you're going to see that you've got weekly threaded discussions. Now those threaded discussions are set up to take the, the discussion elements that we want you to start to communicate about and to think about them, to talk about your opinions, uh, give you the ability to agree to disagree, but to show different points of perspectives, different points of view. Now, let's jump to the bottom row because the bottom row is where we're going to start to get into the meat of the course. One of the first things I think is going to be essential for you is to go in and print out the syllabus. So I've got the syllabus set up for you. It walks you through all of the uh, the elements as far as timing goes, the weeks that you've got lined up for you, the different uh, you know deliverables for each week, any information you may require on the grade point, uh, the percentage, any of that uh, is built into that particular document. So that's the first document. Then you're going to walk in and let's talk about the individual assignments that you've got set up for you. Now, in the beginning of the course, in module one, you're going to put together a skills resume. That skills resume is going to be shared with your other team members and it's to give everyone a good, clear understanding of what your you know, your project management specific skills and techniques are what you bring to the table as a team member. In addition to that, you're going to see that you've got a peer review, which is due at the end of the course, and you will be doing both a qualitative and a quantitative evaluation of the other team members that you've had in your team for the last six weeks. And then finally, the other individual assignment that you're going to have is on a weekly basis, you're going to assume the team weekly leader role. So as a project manager, you're going to be a PM for one week and then you're going to rotate that to someone else. So at least one time during the project phase, you're going to be filling out a team leadership report and you will get credit for all of those individually. Now let's walk over and talk about, I'll, I'll call it the, the majority of the course, which is based on team effort. Now that team-based effort is going to be a, a uh, I'll call it a, a, a paste level of documentation that you would be required to pull together while putting together a project. So the project has a, uh, a proposal that you will react to. You will actually select a, a company called ECS um, and their list or portfolio of different energy solutions. These solutions are different projects. So your team is going to pick one of these projects that they want to work on. They will respond to the project proposal. 
they will then put together all of the elements necessary week by week by week uh, from scope statement to work breakdown structure to working with scheduling software to create a Gantt chart to create uh, you know earn value to resource load against it creating a risk matrix a risk register, a communication plan. You'll be putting together lessons learned, best practices, wrapping everything up. And then at the end, you will be putting together a final report. And then in addition to that final report, you will have a final presentation, an out brief presentation you will do to the ECS company. Now, as I said, I'm gonna be doing a dual role here or a multitude of roles in the course. And one of them is interacting with you from an ECS perspective. And I'll walk you through that in one of the other additional slides. But that gives you just a, a multitude of the types of different project elements that you're gonna be exposed to. Now, two of the other pieces to it that are gonna be your, your weekly readings. One of them is gonna be the new PMBOK, the PMBOK 7.0. You're going to find I've got a, a specific lecture set up for you, a recorded lecture on exactly what is included in the new PMBOK, how it interacts with you, the difference between the philosophy of the old PMBOK and the practical application of, uh, you know, tailoring and uncertainty in a VUCA environment, VUCA being volatility, uncertainty, chaos and ambiguity, because that's the world that you're actually working in managing in, leading in, functioning in from a project standpoint. Now, the next piece of it is going to be the Larson and Gray textbook on project management. You're going to find that this particular textbook is excellent. I've worked with about four or five different versions of this, and I can tell you it has the best material for you as we continue moving forward. So you're going to find on a weekly basis, you've got specific readings that come from each of these books, and they are going to be aligned to what you're running through in the phases as we come all the way from, as I said, project introduction all the way to project closing. It'll also include information on Agile and Lean. Now, when I talk to you about that pro that pracademic project management and the six phases of it, here's a representation of what we will be covering in the different phases. So the project that you will be walking through is gonna walk through these six phases and it's gonna start with the introduction, which is where you get your, your uh, uh, project proposal put together in addition to your project resume. Then we're going to walk down and we're going to start to put scope together. So you're going to have the team charter, the initial scope statement. From there, you're going to move down into the planning phase. In the planning phase, you're going to put together a manual work breakdown structure and you're going to start to put down the schedule in a software program of some sort. Now, there's a, a couple different varieties of uh, solutions to this. One of them is going to be a software based solution. The other will be an Excel based solution, depending on which one your team will pick. And you will have an opportunity to do that at a later point. In addition to that, we've got the risk register, the risk matrix, the communication plan, all of that falls into that planning phase. Then we have a monitoring and controlling phase and you can see how that overlaps everything from the initiation of the program all the way down into closing the program. Then we're gonna talk about from an execution standpoint, creating a cost baseline that's resource loaded and then how do we get earned value out? Finally, we're going to finish the project, close the project down, and you're going to capture lessons learned, create best practices. You're going to put together that project report and that team presentation, and then finally your peer review on your other people. Now, that sounds like a lot to handle in a six-module format, and it's going to seem like it is going very fast as we move through, but I am here to guide you and to help you as we move through all the modules. Now, you'll see in addition to that, there's an ECS PMO representative that is myself who will interact with you on a weekly basis. And during the simulation that we have set up for you, the, the evolving uh, drama saga of the ECS company working with your project, you will experience different project management challenges. You will be asked by the ECS company to respond to different situations and we need to know what your reaction, what your decision would be. So as a team, you will be making decisions and posting back the information back. But on a weekly basis, there will be a message that comes in from me. 
you will you will you know listen to that message watch the video and then you will respond as a team back now the team leader will be the one responsible for uh, providing that feedback now that encompasses everything that we've got lined up for you but one of the other features that i need you to understand is that we are going to be focusing on how we can get you to work together to perform which means that from a collaboration standpoint there's two throttles that you have as a project manager effectiveness of the team and efficiency getting the right people at the right time doing the right thing in the right place that's our goal and we're laying out a structure for you for many people they never get a chance to see an entire project from the front introduction and the proposal phase all the way to closing it and the challenges associated with each of those steps this course is set up to give you that experience to walk you through what it takes to not only start up a project execute a project plan a project and then finally close it down so that's the msc 402 course in a nutshell i just wanted to give you a quick overview and let you know if you've run into any problems issues or concerns feel free to contact me offline let me know what you need and i will be interacting with you not only on a weekly basis but sometimes on a daily basis as we're moving through the course material have a great week bye bye welcome to the course